Tillman was having, I felt like a career night. I don't know if it was or not for him, but he was really playing well. And, uh, he's gutted it up, and this team fights. And in games that we've won close in the league, the last three or four minutes defensively, we've, we've been exceptional. And today we make shots late. Sticks hit the one, three, couldn't really get sticks going. Um, hit the three, their ball screen defense was terrific. Um, and then, you know, Anthony got the one in the corner. Um, and then the one late on a two-man game, the rocket went under uh, the ball screen. And, uh, it was great. So sometimes that's how you have to win in this building, kind of sneak up right there at the end and get it done. But my guys were terrific. Never – they battled. Our transition defense was great. Uh, ball screen defense at, at times was good. It was great at the end. And, um, and then we rebound. I don't know what the rebound is. I can't see the stats anymore. Uh, our rebounding was really good for us uh, tonight. And, uh, just a great win for our program, obviously. Questions, please. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call the Jackledge Law Group. We have decades of experience handling truck crashes. We recognize issues unique to trucks, including black box findings and DOT regulations. We find insurance others don't know exists. Some think the only coverage is with the truck, yet we've found millions more insurance with the broker. It's important to collect information, find representation immediately. Truck cases are complex. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1 right now. This is Mason Miner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Coach, over here to your left, to not come into this building and win is a big deal, but in that environment, that yeah. electricity, honoring the national championship, how proud are you of your team to not just come in and win, but to win in that environment? Yeah. Um, you know, we we don't get the Michigan State crowds, but we get good crowds on the road because we have a number in front of our name. We've had it really five of the last six years since we joined the league. So we get good crowds. I wouldn't say we get the Michigan State crowds on the road. They always get the toughest ones, I think, but we've kind of gotten used to it. We didn't talk about game day at one time. Um, we didn't come shoot today. We weren't around the arena. We came in last night and shot. Kind of stayed in our hotel rooms, walked through things. So, um, And we've won, that's four in a row for us on the road when everybody was wondering if we were ever going to win one on the road. So it means a lot. It, I don't know how many teams come in here and win. I know Penn State came in here earlier. Um, it's harder for us because we don't make shots like Penn State does, but uh, we made them late. But it, it means a lot. When it, whenever you can beat Michigan State in this building, because they're, they're the class of the league. They have been for a long time. So whenever you can get that win, it means a lot. I'm here, you're right there. Coach, you talked about a little bit about your different technique. Uh, what is your mental toughness strategy to be able to come in here and do the things that you did? Well, we talk about it a lot. And um, we believe in each other. Um, and um, we got some tough guys, <clears throat> starting with Anthony Cowan. And uh, he's as tough as they come, pound for pound. And two great point guards on the floor tonight, obviously. But um, our guys just believe. We never talked about losing. We just talked about, all right, we gotta, we got to shut them out the rest of the way. And then we got to figure out how to make – we're going to make a couple shots. Guys. We're going to make a couple. And we were able to make a couple, and we got confident. And, and um, just kind of who we are. It's, it's kind of who we are. I wish we were, you know, <clears throat> I wish we were a little deeper. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll get deeper as the season goes on. Um, but our transition defense and our rebounding has come a long ways in the last six weeks. And our taking care of the basketball, I don't know what we ended up with turnover-wise. Um, but just taking care of the ball has really been the difference in our team. And what's your left on that? What makes Anthony Cowan so capable? Those late game situations? Well, everybody was always telling Anthony his whole life he was too little, he wasn't good enough. So, um, <clears throat> you know, he was really mad at himself for missing that free throw the other night. And, um, you know, he, he's been locked in since that game ended. We, we, we really practiced well. We had a uh, Thursday's practice was probably our hardest and most difficult practice we've had in about a month. We got after it. And, um, you can see he was locked in. He was locked in early, kind of what helped us weather the storm early. But kid's just a winner. And um, he does what he has to do for us to win the game. And um, tonight, of course, he had to make big shots. But 
probably wore him down a little bit. He was really tired, he shot the air ball because I had put him on caches and I just couldn't get our matchups right. I had so much respect for Henry and his size. And uh, finally, late in the game, we just said, all right, Dale, you got caches. We were able to rest. I wouldn't say rest Anthony, but that helped him not chasing ball screens the whole game. Yeah, uh, Coach uh, Sticks and Callen says it all for themselves. How about the way Dante Scott seemed to really come alive today? Gave you that lead, helped give you that lead, and made a huge bucket when things were getting away. Yeah, we were down three, and I'd already used a timeout, and I had two left, and the building was going crazy. And Dante had a huge bucket, cut it to one. Um, he's a good player. He's tough. He's he's our. We got a lot of tough guys, but he's our toughest guy. And um, <clears throat> he played so smart defensively tonight, um, and uh, you know it really helped us. And I thought he rebounded well. I thought he played with poise offensively. He made a big three too, didn't he? And um, he did a lot of great things. So we got confidence in him. And there's a reason he plays so many minutes. He's a good player. Yeah, two left. Uh, going off of Anthony, you know, he's had a lot of moments like that in his four-year career here. Do you know? Do you have an idea of where that might rank during his Maryland legacy? I'm too exhausted right now <laughs> <laughs> to even tell you. But it, I'll let him answer that. Yeah. He remembers the shots better than I do. <clears throat> going off of that, coach, just was it mean for the team? Talk real loud. The mic's not working. Oh, sorry. Kind of just going off of that, Coach, what does it mean to have you know a player like Anthony who, in late game situations, can you know help you guys pull it out? Well, it's nice, and tonight it was Anthony's time to do it. You know, I think different guys step up for us. You know, throughout this, you know all the time, guys, different guys step up for us. So tonight it was Anthony. Um, to win a game like that, you gotta you gotta make plays when the defense makes a mistake, and they didn't make very many mistakes defensively. And right there at the end, Anthony was able to hit those two shots. Went under a ball screen, I believe, and they helped out in the corner. And just glad he made them. You know, because we had missed a lot of open shots leading up to that point. Brandon, so. about, about a month ago at Wisconsin, down the stretch, it was kind of the opposite result with you guys kind of blowing the lead. What do you think has changed this past month for your team? Just confidence. We didn't believe we could beat Everybody was telling us how bad we were. Everybody was telling how bad of a coach I was. We didn't believe we could win that game. So we didn't believe it until about the five-minute mark, and then we should have won it, and we didn't. We turned it over. We've gotten better. We're not great, but we've gotten better in some of those situations. And um, then we just stopped listening to all the noise, and now we just believe in ourselves. Last one, please. Back left. Coach, last minute and 15 of the game, was the strategy to let anybody but cash is going to? I'm not telling. <laughs> <laughs> what it look like? It, it, it looked as if you, you double team cash. Are you a former player? Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I. It, yeah. I mean, you, you got to do that, right, as a coach. And um, Tillman took the wide open three and missed it, and it was a little bit off. And that, that's really when I decided, like, okay. And the sticks is so long. Sticks was terrific the last three minutes, keeping Cassius in front of him and playing shots. Um, but yeah, you could probably, once we got the lead, yeah, that was probably how we did it the last minute or so. Thanks, Coach. Yeah.